Richard's Adventures, we're off to the seaside. Where we're going is a surprise. There's something uh, interesting to tell you. <coughs> off with my crazy mum and uh, off with Bob. He's the pusher, she's the sitter. We're off to the Jubilee Line. <laughs> Where it takes us is to the We'll get three trains today. We've done the first one. This is our second one. There'll be train number three. Train number three is to my destination. But now, we're off to the Jubilee Line. Off to my destination now. On the sea, to sea. And no, we're not going south end, despite it's going to south end. It's somewhere different. Oh. We're officially here. Leon and Sea, that's where we are. That's our destination today. Train is leaving, saying goodbye to the train. The Seaside that day, town is the other way. Yeah. What we see, we don't know. Something to explore. Leon Sea station's there. Train's down there, if you can see it. And the seaside's right over there. And keep going. We're going the right way, but he's got to struggle up the hill. Oh well. But all in all, it looks quite good. So it carry on straight up? Yeah. It's looks interesting. Here, yeah. Wow, the views are just outstanding. See, it's something interesting on the corner there. How about that for a view? But another thing, to get to the town, is a struggle up the hill. And the station is right down there. Right down there. Still a way up. Still got to go up the hill. There's a road that actually leads. That way we know where it goes. It's interesting though, because there's a town down there. A town up there. We can explore it all yet. It sounds interesting.
you know, piracy was happening years ago all along these marshy kind of beaches. They did it when the tide was low. And when the tide's really low, they can do all the piracy with the trading ships coming through. I'm going to show you what I mean by very low. These are tides quite low. There's used to come in, the trading ships used to come along, the pirates used to come in and they come across the lands. It's quite easy because it's very marshy, it was easy. I think can hide out. Yeah, but doing it at dead of night. During the day it was kind of hard. But during the day it was interesting because the tide was out, right out. The ships couldn't come into land. They had to sort of navigate the little ways. It's just up there you can see. There's a little river way. You used to come do it through that way and that sort of thing. Yeah, pirates used to steal from freight ships, well, so ships that come in doing all the trading and that, and that's how they used to escape, a little stream in the middle, just as you see on the screen, that's how they used to escape to bring the loot right across. That's very cool the boats, really. What's well, it's got a Rossi ice cream. Yeah. So did you? We've got bunions. She ate fish and all. She got fish for later. Yeah, so got an oyster for later. It's alright there. Seaside. Things are looking up, they're getting a bit fishy and all. Which is the bottom part, or was it the top part of last time? Now I'm at the bottom part. Get a little music intro to that one. This one's a little bit of chitty chatty. Get a history along the way. Like the old fashioned roads, you can see them here. We have found a museum. Here, yeah, a bit of history for you. The way people used to live back then on Leon Sea. Which was nice. Should you, do, should, you, should you be doing that? Should you be doing that? Because it says don't touch. Not the old fireplace. Oh well. Wow. Oh, the old brickwork. Feel like a pirate. You mean a pirate house. <laughs> Passive. What a view outside. Wow. Wow. There's no sofas at all downstairs. No. Never you to see. There's a bedroom upstairs. Clothing used to wear. It's quite fascinating. It's quite interesting to see. And you see we used to lights. There was that the electricity. They had us the lights. Pretty impressive. Oh, there's a baby in the car. Dolly. How are you, Dolly? I say seashells. I see seashells. Interesting uh, pirate story end of this uh, <laughs> video. I'll just let you know, down along here, all used to be shops, also to be piracy shops. They used to do trade, steal the stuff from the like, you know, from the ships and used to trade it all along here. There's one interesting story I've got to tell you about it as well, but I'll turn to the end of the clip. But yeah, it's quite interesting to know that. This might the person that died here. Done the, didn't do the piracy trading. Right here, this right spot. But the house was originally up there where the beer garden is. And this is the uh, parts what's left apparently. The grave's just there. The older sea shanty style uh, houses. It's very cool, right? How about that for a view? That's so cool. How about that? That's an awesome view though. Or should we go down the bottom? Should we go down there? Yeah, should we? Yeah. Would you tell me? When I said I was leading up to a pirate story to October, I was serious about that because I am picking pirate locations in Essex for the moment. No, 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 no. And the way he wasn't expecting that. that How that? That for a view. There's fishies here, fish shops along here, all along here. Some are closed, just one's just open at the moment. But yeah, it's pretty awesome, all the fish stuff. Gotta work out when I do open all the time. Let's check it out. Quite a few. It's a nice walk along there actually. It's all the pot boats uh, mourned along there. Are ready to go out? 
Probably should sleep in there until the tide comes in. You can go out then, can't you? How about that for a view? It's pretty impressive, right? Oh, rusty. My mum just said the boat's all fluffy. Then you realise they're all rusty. You are so funny. Now at the bottom part, I can see the road. That's not the road, is it? Road's up there. Yeah. That's the railway. There's a shop to eat. Go all the way around there. The station's just there. Just there. We're going to make our way through that up top. Go around all the way to the top. Go across. Get in the station somewhere underneath there. But yeah. Last soak up. Off to sea. All the boats here. Which is quite nice. I told them to stand apart. To try again. Just go down there. But I'm up to. It's a bit fleet that way. Very interesting. But I'm going up that way. There's a way you can go up to keep going and get to see a castle somewhere. But yeah, let's have a look what it says up here to say no. Which is interesting because it's come from Chilwell. Benfleet, three and, three and a quarter miles. That'd be interesting to try it for next time. Interesting route. But we're now we're off to the station. He's having a struggle for today, Bob Day. Yeah, which is my mum. My train has just arrived. Which is now going to leave. Oh well, see you at the next one then. Last visits at Leon C. I'm going to tell you the story after showing the little train gone past. Three five seven O oh, double one. Now on the sort of the magnets out of places I've been to, apart from that one I put the Duxford one but I've been to the airplane museum so I thought put that because it's part of the museum anyway. Yeah all the places I've been to I put all the magnets up there, I've got posters about as well. But yeah an added addition, Leon C today, thought I'll get one. And that Gorilla Kingdom that's apparently that's the London Zoo but it's like different. But yeah I put my name so that's me. Yeah it's pretty cool though. Again, Gonna fill it up with all the places I go to. I'm gonna update my back wall or my bedroom wall with places I've been to because I've got the Chesil Hurfs Caves. So I thought it was a cool poster and uh, I got that from Comic Con and I went to see the uh, Play Museum for put the poster up there and I've got another one up there as well. Got Isla White, Parkers versus Painters. It's random posters, it's random stuff or things I pick up from exhibitions and places I go to. I stick on this wall. That's the plan of this one and this section. About Leon on Sea, um, I picked up a little trial and apparently I've actually done all the routes that I did today. I've done today, was all the routes I've been doing. It's quite interesting uh, information. I've got to read up on all of it anyway, so I understand a bit more. Apparently, the tale of the pirate story of, of Leon's Leon C, basically the tale of Leah. Um, the story goes as a woman um, along the bit I've done last, well, the pirate section, a bit of the museum and that, where the... Um, uh, so Lady said, "The car, um, trying to write it right. When people were sitting down, saying to it, where the pub was, a big massive bit. I didn't film that because it's quite busy. Um, that's where the person lived, and the bit I showed you with the old-fashioned thing is where the, the person stand. They used to have the shop and that. They used to trade. This lady used to trade cloth in trade and make their own clothes but on the black market because she was a pirate. See, she was doing piracy about it, and she's basically um stealing from the ships that are coming in." And uh, she decided to do a runner to get away from the, uh, the inland revenue. And on the way to South End, is trying to get to an island. I've forgotten the name of the island now. I searched it. Well, the guy told me, and I forgot the name of the island, as you see. But it's on the way to the island, just past South End. And she ran aground and got stranded on the tide. As the tide, the stretch goes out, there's a big long tide. It it's got stuck on the other one. I think the other one got was taken on water and sunk, apparently. But yeah. Not sure if she survived or not, or uh, made it or not, but yeah. But, uh, in the end, apparently, I was told, trying to think, she come back, managed to come back, because the other ship sunk, the one was chasing it, in your own. she managed to get Max to Leon and see, managed to make it back, but I don't know if she survived the whole process. I had to check up online about that and tell you my next video. 
But yeah, until next time, more surprises to be coming.